Now, World Bank Nigeria says Nigeria has a large electricity access deficit. The lender claims lack of access to the electricity grid affects 45% of the population, which accounts for about 90 million people. Large disparities exist in access to electricity between urban areas and rural ones. In order to bridge this gap, the federal government of Nigeria, Niger Delta Power Holding Company Lagos, Ogun and all your states have agreed on a bilateral trade to distribute 4,000 megawatts electricity to the extensive industrial and business clusters in Abara and throughout Nigeria. The Nigerian electricity supply industry is evolving regulatory framework and the declaration of eligible customers, according to the NDPHC, have created opportunities for the industry to revolutionize and end Solutions that increase electricity access for Nigerian homes and businesses and lessen the financial burden on the federal government's balance sheet. My guest on the, on the show this morning is the Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer of the Niger Delta Power Holding Company, Mr. Chiodu Uba. Mr. Ogo, it's a pleasure to have you on the show this morning. Thank How are you, you today? Very, I'm very good. Very well. Well, let's begin with Nigeria's electricity chain and highlight some of the key issues that are affecting transmission, generation and distribution as we are today. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, we, we, uh, of course, obviously there are challenges in the sector. Um, however, the challenges are more in the network uh, area, that's transmission and distribution, than you have in generation. As of today, um, the installed capacity in generation in Nigeria is somewhere around 13,000 megawatts. Of course, um, if you add Zumgeru, um, it's closing up to 14,000. So there is some significant uh, improvement in generation. I mean, in generation capacity, uh, not actual generation. How you see that of these 13,000, um, if you ask generation companies to come up, they should be able to bring up uh, at least 8,000 megawatts or between seven and 8,000 megawatts. That's what we call available capacity. About actual generation today is somewhere around 5,000 megawatts. And that is because um, the ability, the capabilities to um, to evacuate uh, through the transmission and then deliver to distribution and end users uh, limits that um, actual generation to 5,000 megawatts. Um, so generation, it has no problems, not much problems apart from gas. But gas is a factor, availability of gas is a factor of the commercial arrangement in the sector, the liquidity of the sector, and um, who we are dealing with that, the government is dealing with that, the government is resolving that. Of course, you can see there is a minister of state now in charge of gas. Those are some of the reasons that inform that. For transmission, a lot of um, uh, investment is required. Uh, and the uh, government is doing the, uh, the transmission expansion plan. Um, a lot of work is being done. There was some CBM funding again to expand the transmission uh, uh, network. Uh, distribution area as well, a lot is being done, particularly in the area of collection efficiency. That's in the area of mass metering, um, which the government has also come up with Nigeria mass uh, metering program. It's ongoing work, it's ongoing. I can tell you, sitting at meetings with the regulator, they are focusing on that, they are, they are monitoring that um, effectively. But that's the, the, the challenge. So distribution has challenge with the network to um, improve um, uh, access in terms of um, having the, 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 the the pools and wires in place, injection substations, investment is required there. Um, transmission, we need more substations, we need more lines. Uh, in all these areas, my company, NDPAC, we've done a lot, a lot of work in providing transmission infrastructure. By the way, NDPAC implements the government's uh, National Integrated Power Projects, the so-called NIPP. And we have tons of um, projects in transmission completed. Uh, many projects in distribution completed to improve that. But just recently, just like you mentioned, uh, with this new government coming, His Excellency the Vice President thought that we shouldn't have, we shouldn't have uh, a, a, a stranded generation in the power plants. We should target industrial areas. We should target uh, clusters. We should make sure that we bring this 
uh, available uh, generation to homes and to businesses, and that's exactly what we are doing. Right, and yeah. I, I mean, I'm sure there, is, there are so many points we would like to touch on, and, and I like that you've also touched on the operational yeah. framework, yes. because that could be a little blurry sometimes, so it's yeah. good to understand. We understand that um, the NDPHC, for instance, over, oversees 10 independent power plants. Yes, that's if right. I'm wrong, please yeah. correct me. Uh, eight well, or 10? Ten? Eight, uh, eight, eight, um, eight has been completed in the, in the grid, uh, two are under construction, uh, that it gives you approximately 4,000 megawatts in stored capacity. Um, the, the, the ones under construction uh, will add about 1,000 megawatts later. So we have total design capacity of about 5,000 megawatts, out of which we have delivered 4,000 megawatts so far. All right, it's yeah. great to get some clarity yeah, 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 on that. Yeah. But now let's talk about this bilateral agreement. It yeah. sounds very exciting, 4,000 megawatts. Let's get some more details around that. Yeah, so uh, yeah, we have 4,000 megawatts on I mean, sitting, um, delivered, constructed in the power plants, um, barring every, um, barring um, uh, the routine maintenance, you should have, and of course the the temperature in the area site conditions, we should have 3,000, 3, about that available all the time. Uh, however, um, due to the systemic challenges, you find out that we are, we are dispatched. What I mean dispatched, I mean the the transmission company calls us up to the grid, maybe 500 megawatts on average. Um, and that is not good. When this vice president, his excellency, the vice president, can say, that is not good. How can a company don't be doing less than about 20, 25% of its capacity? That's not good. So we need to get, and Nigerians need this electricity. So we have a program of now, uh, the bilateral arrangements which is approved by the regulator. So generation companies can sell directly to uh, end users that can consume up to two megawatts. Okay. Yeah, so that way you, you can freely bypass distribution or you can work with distribution companies. And that's what we are doing. So instead of going through the MBET, uh, MBET is a Nigerian bulk electricity trading, is a 100% owned government company. Uh, of course, generation companies will be comfortable selling to MBET uh, so that they know that MBET pays them because that's a challenge, the money. So when you sell to MBET, you get, there's always a shortfall from right. distribution companies to MBET. And that shortfall um, sits with MBET and sits on the government balance sheet because the generation companies will record that we are being owed so much. I mean, the 27 or 25 odd generation companies, they are all owed somewhere around one trillion or over now. That sits with the government, and debt with the government is never a bad debt, they will get that. But if that is not good enough for us. We cannot continue that way. And the important thing for us is to get the electricity to Nigerians. So we have to contract bilaterally, directly, stop putting this indebtedness in government balance sheet. I contract with, for example, the Agbara Industrial uh, uh, Community. They owe me, we put structures in place, I supply them electricity and make sure that my electricity doesn't fail. And of course there are uh, measures in place to ensure that they also pay for the electricity. So that's, whatever happens between us, it's outside the government's uh, balance sheet. Um, if they owe me, I have a right of enforcement directly. I don't have to be looking at government to come and pay me. And that's the way the sector should go. We have said just investors should come, franchise these areas, and let generation companies serve them. Even transmission, the transmission expansion programs, let the private sector come in. We do what they call independent uh, transmission projects, which I've always advocated, and it's, it's, it's happening uh, elsewhere in the world. Let the private sector come, um, take some transmission line substation, make the investment, do the economics, recover your money uh, over time, 10 years, 20 years, and that way, you know, you will see that there will be serious improvement in terms of transmission infrastructure and in terms of electricity delivery to Nigerians. All right. I mean, yeah. it's certainly refreshing to hear yeah. that we see in some sort of motion yeah. on, on that now. But let's talk about execution. What time frame has been put in place for this? And more importantly, what could stand in the way of getting to that execution? So we, for us, I mean, we are, I mean, we are the, His Excellency, the Vice President, who is the Chairman of the Board of NDPAC, by the way, has charged us, has given us a maximum of six months. And I have to deliver. My team is working. 
to ensure that we deliver within the six months. Where if there is anything that would affect us, I, I can't foresee that now, but if there is, could be some mac macroeconomic challenges. Uh, but we are working, and His Excellency, the Vice President, is leading this charge. So even if we have any issues, he is there to resolve. He was there in Agbara, you know, in person, to ensure, to assure them that we would deliver, and we would deliver. Our duty is to implement, he has set the tone, and we will deliver. NDPSC is known for delivery in terms of projects, and it's not a problem. We have contractors ready who are even ready to deliver this in less than six months. And once that's done, so you will see it, we invite right. you. Well, we, I mean, we have yeah. your word on it. Yes, yes. On the Global will, Business Report, we'll we, hold you to it. Yes, please hold us to our word. We have, we've signed up with the Bad of Disco and some private sector again for Otter and Chagamu areas, business areas, we will deliver that. We're signing up with some business in Kano and you know, in Kaduna, we will deliver those. Likewise, also in Anambra and the rest of the country, we will deliver. We are working assiduously to make sure we deliver. Right, and that's very refreshing yeah, to hear. Yes. But you said, look, sounds like lots to look forward to, yeah, and there's yeah. light. That's yes. the end of the tunnel, isn't yeah, it? Agree. Definitely. <laughs> All right, definitely, then, Mr. Chiodo, yeah. I want to thank you so much for joining us this morning. Uh, it's been an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank Many you very thanks. much. Thank you.